Thanks for joining us on Cron 4 News at 6. I'm Grant Lotus. And I'm Vicki Liviakis. That rare tsunami warning yesterday for the Bay Area it really tested city and county responses after a 7.0 magnitude quake shook part of the state. That's right. Cron 4's meteorologist Gail Ong is live in San Francisco. San Francisco. She talked to emergency officials about how to be better prepared. Good evening, Gail. Good evening, Grant and Vicki. And yes, you know, yesterday's event, uh, I spoke to a lieutenant with the San Francisco Fire Department who says it's the perfect time to really assess any emergency plans and preparations if you haven't already. There's a little bit of chaos going on, uh, a little bit of fear, unknown. Lieutenant Mariano Elias of the San Francisco Fire Department says firefighters train for a potential tsunami. And that was tested on Thursday when a rare and brief tsunami warning was issued after a 7.0 magnitude quake shook Humboldt County. And it brings up the question what to do if it happens again. Basically, folks would need to seek higher ground. We do have a lot of hills in San Francisco, which are higher than sea level, which would help people get to where they need to be and be safe. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. A tsunami is a series of ocean waves that can cause dangerous coastal flooding and other damage. 2011 was the last tsunami warning for the Bay Area. This was following the Fukushima event in Japan. It damaged the Santa Cruz Harbor at the time. In 2022, a tsunami advisory was issued during the Tonga volcano eruption, causing heightened waves along our coastline. We don't always know a tsunami is coming. Uh, you know, even if you're at the beach, uh, very uh, minimal warning signs, unless the ocean is doing something uh, different than normal. But uh, the alert system, for example, that was sent out yesterday would allow people to evacuate in enough time uh, based on the early warning. First responders closed down the Great Highway and evacuated people at Ocean Beach. The warning was lifted about an hour later after it was issued. Lieutenant Elias recommends having a plan ahead of time. Have a go bag with some safety equipment, like a first aid kit and flashlight, and maybe some comfortable shoes along with a coat or jacket, and be able to evacuate. Uh, and maybe check on your neighbors that uh, maybe have difficulty uh, walking or are elderly that need a little assistance. Uh, so basically, if you make a plan ahead of time, we won't have to panic and be scared. Like a lot of people yesterday were just unaware of what to do. And that lieutenant adds it is important to know the hazards in your neighborhood. Uh, San Francisco has uh, historically been a flood and tsunami zones for a while. And just because of our proximity to the water being surrounded by the ocean here. So there is a tsunami risk map on our website, cron4.com, just to, you know, know never know when these things come up because uh, they are uh, unpredictable. Reporting live in San Francisco, Gail Ong, Cron4 News.